Allah Azza wa Jal, if you find yourself in a hopeless state where you feel like your heart has in fact become hard and you have developed this kind, this sort of a problem where you know the, the religious, sometimes the religious personality or the appearance of the religious personality is very intimidating. It's hard to talk to them, it's hard to be, you're scared to be around them because you know they're going to talk down to you about something. Right, you're, you're afraid of them. A lot of times sisters that wear hijab, sisters that don't wear hijab, keep, they cross the street and go the other way. Oh, there she comes again, hijab police. Right, she's going to tell me something, she's going to say something, make me feel bad. Right? Now on the one hand that's paranoia, but on the other hand sometimes it is true. There are people that are very condescending to others. They're arrogant towards others. Tell me this, weren't you a party animal not too long ago? And when people try to tell you about it, how did you behave towards them? Did you forget where you came from? How far Allah brought you? Right? People forget that. People forget where they used to be and where Allah brought them. And then years later they see someone who's a party animal and say, Astaghfirullah, I can't be like, how could he be like that? Where were you? That guy should remind you of yourself. You were exactly like that. So you should remember the, Allah's favor upon you. You used to be at the very edge of the fire. <laughs> he pulled you out of it. And it's in that ayah Allah says, فَأَلَّفَ بَيْنَ قُلُوبِكُمْ Right, the same ayah, He put love between your hearts. You, to have love between your hearts, you have to remember you used to be at the fire's edge yourself. And you got pulled back and it wasn't because of you. It because, it's not because you're a really smart person. And that's why you deserve to be pulled back. Whose favor was it to you? It was Allah's favor to you. How dare you look at somebody else and think like that? Right, this, 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 Arrogance is a, is a horrible thing, it will wipe out all the goodness out of you. It will wipe all the goodness out of you. And it is because most of the time, our youth who end up into heated debates about whatever, if it's a theology issue, if it's a fiqh issue, if it's a MSA presidency, I don't care what, it, what the issue is. It doesn't even matter. You know usually what the root problem of the debate is? It's ego. It's, it's really, it's a big ego, that's all it is. People talking about scholars like they're talking about some athlete. You know, that guy, I don't like him, I don't like what he says. Excuse me? Do you know what Allah, what journey he made for the sake of Allah? Even if you disagree with him, the fact that he left his home, whoever that scholar is, and traveled halfway across the world to seek knowledge, and spent nights and nights and nights praying and memorizing and studying, you're going to just pass a comment on him like, oh, I don't like what he says, I think he's deviant. How dare you? What have you done? What puts you in that position to be able to say that? And you know, if you disagree with a Muslim and you think they're wrong, what should be your first attitude towards them? You should pass, them, pass a verdict on them that they're headed to hell, or should you genuinely be concerned for them? And if you were genuinely concerned for them, you wouldn't talk to anybody else about them. Who would you talk to? Themselves. You would go and talk to themselves. If that, if that was sincerity in you, you would address your concerns to them, not to anybody else. But this, is, this shows lack of sincerity. This shows ego. This shows you want it, you want, you've got your team, you've got, you're rooting for your side, and you're just going to make comments about the other. That's immature, arrogant, egotistic. This is what it is.